Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we had rain. Thankfully, no devastation like in the rest of Spain. We had just over two inches over a week period, about 48 millimeters, which is great. This temporary wall, earthen wall, at the lowest part of the creek is still holding. And a beautiful pond here in the meantime. And I am happy to report that the water went left to the left and to the right of this structure, nothing over as such, and no erosion here, which is amazing. I like that. And this is three in the afternoon. At three in the morning I was out, and this is 12 hours later. And there is still some trickle of water coming through these leaky weirs. And uh, the spot where I report on the daily flow in the creek has running water. Nothing moved in this leaky weir system, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, thank you to the polite rainfall we could manage. And now our berries start to flower. We are in a bimodal system two dormant seasons and two growth seasons except that the growth seasons are not long enough to really produce something so we are looking for bimodal plants that can help us out so I'm going up the creek and uh, there was almost no sediment coming down this time because it was not rushing water and uh, it's amazing that below the canal system there is water flow and above the canal system there is no water flow so it does appear that it has some influence on what is happening on the farm here at the top end of the creek it uh, it's all intact happy to report that i did remove all those planks and uh, it alleviated the pressure on getting water down this canal this canal is also intact and the western pond is full. The Palofnia we have here is slowly getting into their autumn outfits and uh, this rumor is spreading in town that we are planting tobacco and I go with it whenever people ask me I say yes and I ask them if they want to buy something so play the game also when uh, we arrived here 
the people asked me where I'm from and I asked them to guess and then one will say Austria and I said yes and then a few days later another one will ask and I say yes and I, they will say Germany I say yes and then Holland and I say yes and then I now they're fighting with each other where I'm from but that's good keep them busy right I'm extremely delighted and thankful that this structure is holding there are a few things I will have to tweak um, this main outlet the canal that it's all about is somehow uh, high um, so I will dig I will lower the canal to get the water in there earlier and then um, this point here is fine and that outlet there that takes the water to the original erosion gully is actually the lowest point it's about two centimeters lower than here and uh, I will have to perhaps put in some concrete there and get that level higher and then there is some trickle of leakage very little as we can see here now this is coming from here also from the street coming from here and then also from here now all that is perfectly okay with me just don't damage my system here so one can also hear the water is still coming in from the culvert so I am extremely happy the water came down here a lot of water left there which is also brilliant and then it went to the street outside which is exactly what I wanted and then the pigs have arrived on the neighbor's farm and they have to eat consume acorns uh, the last part of their diet before they can be changed into jamon I am not any wiser about the scouring of the top level of water when it comes through that culvert into this area I watched it for almost an hour between three and four in the morning and I did not learn that much I'm just happy that this is working some sagging taking place which is fine it's actually amazing how quickly this fills up was about 15 minutes and it was full so the amount of water coming from this street and from the farm above coming down here is much much more than the rainfall on the farm I am thankful that we have the vision and the courage to 
capitalize on that and use it. The water in this old erosion gully. It's the very first structure I've built, still standing. And then it overflows here. And when it's a lot of water, it goes here to the left. But if not, it goes underground because there are many logs and branches that are covered by earth and uh, it leaves towards the lower part of this that's the lower system we have then the middle system is this one also a trickle of water and uh, the water came here I just have to make sure I will not slip and slide here and then the water goes into that canal and there and then it runs to the second swale but uh, tomorrow I will start digging a swale that way and I also have to enlarge this one because they're on the bend um, it appears that it's too much water but all good this is the bottom of the erosion gully and it swell system here holding water with all my tobacco plants here my Pavlovnia let me go to the western side crossing the creek coming here to the old canal that used to carry a lot of water from the Kanat system and there is some sign of flow here but I don't know where the water came from it must be some breach then into the swale but uh, I cannot find it maybe it's just water flow the water came down here from the creek and then I opened here it went down to the lowest part of the farm there are nine swales there and also came here this one is full and it also filled this pond on the west what a happy sight sky is always in the water half of the video today is without the dogs and the other half with them so we can please everybody I'm happy to report that everything is fine and uh, hopefully we will get some more rain till next time Goodbye.